Good morning children. Welcome back to your maths class. Now children you can see I have so many chocolates. Okay. This chocolate already I have and today my parents give me more this much of chocolate. So let us count. Already I have how many chocolates? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So now already I have 30 chocolates. This much. Now how much my parents gave me? Let us count this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 chocolate. So 30. How we can write 30? We can write 30 as 3 tenths and 5 as 5 ones. So 30 and 5 means 3 tenths and 5 ones in total how much we can say? 3 tenths, 5 ones means 35. Okay, so children today we are going to learn about the compact form means changing the larger number into a easy number. Okay, now let us see the definition of compact form. So today we are going to learn about compact form and Compact form is also known as standard form. So, let us start. Compact form. Compact form is a way of writing down very large numbers easily. So, children, to better understand, let us see some example. So, in compact form, how to write the numbers? So, this type of thing you have done in expanded form. Now in compact form this type of question will be given to you and you have to write in a compact form or in standard form. So how to write it? First we have already learned about the places. So let us write the places first like this. Okay. Now always we will start from here. So how to read it? 200 plus 10 plus 3. So 200 Means 2 is, will be in which place? In this places? Yes, it will be in the 100 place. Now, 10, how to read it? 110. Yes, so 1 is in which place that means? It is in 10's place. And 3, 1's means it is in 1's place. So, we will read it as 213. Now, let us see one more example. If I write here 800 plus 70 plus 9. So same 800. That means 8 will be in which place? Yes, 100 place. So we will write here 100. Now 70 or we will read it as 7 tenths. That means in which place? Tenths place. So it will be here and last 9. That means 9 ones where in the ones place. So the number is 879. So now based on compact form, let us see some more question. So let us see some more example based on compact form. So how to write it? What I have told? Always write the places so that we can easily write the numbers here. So, I am writing here 100, tens and ones. Now, let us check 100 place digit. There is no 100 place digit. 7070. Now, so 70, we can read it as 7 tens. So, 7 is in which place? Yes, it is in 7 place. And 5 means 5 ones. So, it will be in ones place. So the number is 75. Now let us see number B. 200 plus 80 plus 6. 200 means 2 is in which place? 100 place. So below it I am writing 2. Now next 
8 is in which place? 8 is given. That means 8 tens. So it will be in tens place. And 6 means is, it is in ones place. So we will write here in the ones place. Now let us see number C. 800 plus 70 plus 3. 800 means it is in 800 plus. 70 means 7 tens in tens place and 3 means it will be in 1's place. 873. Now number D. 450 0. So 4 it is in 100 place. So 4 50 means 5 tens in tens place and 0 in the 1's place. So we will write 0 in the 1's place. Now come to number E. 500 plus 0, double 0 or I have already said if 1 0 is given then also write. Okay? Plus 9. So 500 that means it will be in 100 plus 1 0 or 2 0. It is given after 100 so it always we will take it in tens place and 9 means 9 ones between one place so 509 now number f 100 place and 7 it is in ones place now where is the tens place number yes it is not given if tens place number is not given so always we will take it as 0 so 1 it is in 100 place so 1 tens place is not given so we will take it 0 and ones place is given that is 7 so we will write 107 ok now let us see from the first I have told that always think about the places so 70 means 7 tens 5 means 5 ones so 7 it is in tens place 5 ones means in ones place 75 number B 200 that means in 100 place 80 means 8 tens in tens place and 6 in ones place so 280 6. Now come to number C. 800 plus 70 plus 3. 8 is in 100 place. 70 means 7 tens in tens place and 3 means 3 ones ones place. Now number D. 450 plus 0. 100 place. 50 means 5 tens in tens place and 0 in ones place. So 0. Number E. 500 in 100 place. 0 if 2 0 or 1 0 is given that means in tens place and if only 9 is given that means it will be in the ones place now f number i have told if tens place number is not given so we will take it as 0 so 107 okay children now all the question you will note down in your copy and do it now let's recap what is compact form? Compact form is a way of writing down very large numbers easily. Now children, note down your homework. Write down all the questions in your maths copy and try to do it by own self. Now let us see the questions. So children, that's all for today's class.